but I want to know more about you and, and how you go about this and, and what you do to help people actually get fit properly, you know, because we'll get into a little bit later. I have a question about these crunches everybody's always told to do, and you're not worrying about your whole core. You're only worrying about these abs that you can show everybody, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Those are completely useless. They look good, but they right. Right. but we all told to do it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about you and, and where you work and how you work. And uh, you know, do you have international clients? Do you travel? Tell us a little bit more about you. Um well I funded um funded, I founded uh Togo Wellness uh about two years ago actually. I think I just went out to Argentina on a whim. I used to be an inventor, I used to ride, and then I just gave up whilst I went to university. And I just I just went to Argentina and I just fell in love with polo, as most people do. And uh, but I realized how uh, much of a strenuous sport it was. And so I just kind of put Choco Wellness together and the aim is to um help riders become twice as supple stable and strong in the saddle um and you know to bulletproof their body basically for action so i provide online and offline services so i do lots of one-to-one uh, -one zoom training uh, so i've got clients all over the world which is really cool um australia canada pakistan america i've got one in switzerland now, how, how do you go about doing that do you do that on a zoom call would they pay you for an hour and then you actually talk them through the exercises and that kind of stuff? Is that how you go about it? Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, I'm even surprised at how effective it is because I've never done online training. It's what COVID kind of pushed me into doing last year. And um, that just kind of, yeah, I've got more international clients doing it. But uh, we just use whatever equipment they have. Um, so we, all you need are like bands you know a few weights um so basically i work with what they have and then for the hour we go on zoom i'm doing some stuff i'm showing them demonstrations they're doing it and as long as you have good wi-fi you know it's very i've become very good at explaining uh so you know usually you can show someone if they're doing it wrong but now i have to yes. explain through um, verbal cues um so actually it's just as effective if, if the client is willing to work hard and what they want to get their results is but you know it's still as effective as in-person training so if i if i was to do, you you were to spend let's say an hour session and i booked that with you then i took a video of me actually doing it that you could have a look at and then you could share a screen and say gab you're doing this wrong or you're doing that wrong i'd do this differently that's the kind of thing you'd be doing right it was more live so we'd be training them live but with the first the first one we do is a consultation so we do lots of fitness train uh, testing look at the biomechanics so everything is live yeah okay and do you run i mean would you for example you went to argentina if in south africa here um we organized a whole group for you would you come in and do a clinic and do like a four or five day clinic oh, with maybe 10 God. members or something like that I'll book my flight now, Gav. Is that all right? <laughs> um, yes, no, I do that. So do, you do, that kind of thing? do you travel? Do you yeah. Um, yeah. do clinics around the world? Yes, yes, I do. Uh, Polo Fitness Clinics in, um, uh, we've done Argentina. I uh, was mm -hmm. hoping to get to Munich and Mallorca last year, but COVID stopped that. Done some stuff in Soto Grande and then do some throughout the UK season as well. Um, so, I, you know, it's quite nice because you get more of a group. So I do lots of team training as well. And then you can do like bonding exercises with the teammates. Um, you get more of a, a vibe going. So actually, yeah, the clinics, cool. I think, are a lot more, uh, mm -hmm. more enjoyable to do. 